Funko has created thousands of different pops, but there are a few that we'll probably never see. And today I created a list and I want to talk all about the ones that I feel like Funko will never get to make. Joker. And I'm talking about the Joaquin Phoenix version because for that movie there, it was R rated and we got hardly any merchandise for it. Like think about it, when you went to Walmart or Target, did you see t-shirts or graphic novels or action figures? You didn't. When it came to that movie, they really didn't make much of anything for it. And I did a a little bit of digging and really couldn't find anything physical for it besides like of course buying the DVD or something. And with there being a second one releasing I'm hoping we can get a figure for both the Joker and Harley Quinn. I think that would be amazing but if I'm gonna be honest I don't think we're gonna be seeing it. Which is honestly too bad because I also would have loved a moment of maybe him on the stairs dancing. That could have been crazy. M&Ms. Now if I'm gonna be honest when it comes to M&Ms I'm not exactly sure but I have an idea why they can't. And I believe it has to do with the stylization of Funko Pops. When it comes to some companies, they just don't like the look. And I believe M&M's is one of those because I saw back in 2021, there was die cast figures made of all of the characters. But if you'll notice with those ones there, they look exactly like they do in the commercials. And when it comes to Funko Pops, they would have to have the big black eyes, a different shaped body, larger arms, weird feet. I don't think M&M's would like it too much. And so I'm guessing that's why we're never going to be seeing Eminem's characters, even though I would love like a giant set of them with all of the different blue, red, yellow, green, brown, orange, the list goes on. Oh, and another thing that I found out is that Eminem's is owned by the Mars Company, and they have a lot of different products that have never been turned into Pops either. And if I'm going to be honest, a lot of them probably wouldn't really make sense for Pops, but I could see them being turned into foodies, perhaps, like Juicy Fruit Gum, Uncle Ben's, as well as Hubba Bubba. Oh, and even Twix, I think would be a really neat one. We haven't seen any of them. Mario. Now this one's probably pretty self-explanatory. People have been asking for Mario figures since Pop started. It's really funny too because I did a video a couple years ago where I talked about every single character in Smash Bros and I had to skip a lot of them because of course Nintendo IPs, nothing to be found here. But of course in that game we do have other stuff like Bayonetta as well as Sonic and Pac-Man, Pikachu, there's a few. And we have so many other iconic video game franchises. I just wish we could have some Nintendo IPs. Now, I do have a couple reasons why I think we haven't seen them yet. One of them being that Jax has a pretty big market for Nintendo products. And it seems like, from an outside perspective, that Nintendo really trusts Jax. They'll almost make, like, anything you can think of when it comes to Nintendo. They made the Mario movie stuff. They make all of the action figures. Like, pretty much anything Mario you see at the store is created by them. And another thing that I've noticed is that every single product they've created it looks exactly like the characters do in the games. And so I believe very similar to M&M's, they maybe want them to look very accurate. So when Funko is like, hey, we want to make these big head, black eyes, small body characters, Nintendo's like, we're okay. And I actually had this theory for a long time until, well, Lego released these. Which really threw me for a loop, if I'm going to be honest, because I don't exactly know how they got away with making them look so different. But what a lot of people had come up with was the fact that Nintendo did didn't want their IP mixing in with all of the other Lego characters. And so they wanted them to look different and that way they couldn't put like, you know, Mario's hat on top of Spider-Man with a Batman body. It would throw everything off. So to make the characters look like this, where the only pieces that can connect together are other Mario characters, totally makes sense. Also, they did kind of make it somewhat of a playable game or kind of like a video game in a way where like the characters actually light up. So maybe it's not so much of a collectible and that's how they got away with it. I don't know. But anyways, getting back to the Nintendo Pops, I think if Funko wants to make them, they have to make them look completely different so that way people can't say like, hey, they're all the video games in one big line. Maybe if they did Pop Nintendo, no, but that's pretty much just Amiibos. Tom Cruise. Now, there are so many different Tom Cruise movies that I would love to see as Pops. I'm talking Top Gun. I think Rain Man would be really cool as well as, well, actually, now that I say that, The Mummy kind of has a Tom Cruise figure. If you guys don't know, in that franchise, he plays Nick Morton. There was actually a couple of them that accidentally got released. So he does technically have a Funko Pop, but there are very few of them out there. I believe a couple stores got in like a case or two. That's it. And ever since then, we have never got a Tom Cruise character, and that's because he doesn't license out his likeness for some reason. Like, take a Google, everybody. Look up Tom Cruise toys, action figures. You won't find much, probably besides that Funko Pop. Which is definitely interesting, considering how many great movies he's been in. I feel like he could sell so 
much merchandise. Taylor Swift, a musician that people have been asking for for years, especially since she's been doing her eras tour. She's been all over the world. And I think the main problem with Taylor Swift is the fact that she's too expensive. She's literally a billionaire. And so I feel like if they wanted to make characters of her, there would be too much money up front, or maybe she just wants too much of a cut per character. Because she didn't become a billionaire for nothing, even though she does have amazing music and has put on so many different shows. I mean, you've got to get it somehow. And I know for a while there, people were even joking about when her movie went into theaters, she wanted a cut of the popcorn sales. I don't know how real that was, so don't quote me on that. But still, it's kind of crazy. And like I said, I know how many Taylor Swift fans there are out there, so I feel like Funko, if you can create them, please do, because I would totally pick up a couple too. Studio Ghibli. Now, this is a line that I would love to see so many characters for, especially because of the amount of pops they could do. Ponyo, Princess Mononoke, Howl's Moving Castle, there are so many. Oh, and how could I forget My Neighbor Totoro? Like, just imagine everybody, a cat bus Funko Pop right here. How crazy would that be? When doing some research for this video, I found out that Studio Ghibli doesn't actually do any licensing for companies outside of Japan. So I wonder if there's like a way that Funko could create them specifically for there, and then if you really want them, you could order them from like a Japanese website? I don't know. But then after I heard that information, I was trying to think of any place that I had actually seen Studio Ghibli merch, and the only place that I could think of it was the Japan Pavilion in Epcot, which totally makes sense because the countries actually have a hand in creating each of their pavilions. So if I were to guess, a lot of that merchandise is probably coming directly from Japan. And now I don't know if this is going to get you excited or super bummed out, but I remember years and years and years ago, there was a photo of somebody who worked over at Funko and they had a bunch of concepts on the wall. There was so many different characters there too. I remember seeing like the Dark Crystals was Cat Dog and I remember seeing Totoro. So that means the people over at Funko do want to see these characters, but I'm thinking with how long ago that was, I wonder if they've tried and just were never able to do it. Animal Crossing. Now this one here I feel like is the most likely out of all of the ones that we've talked about today, and that's because they've made Animal Crossing Lego sets, and if you take a look at those ones, they are actual minifigures. And so maybe if Funko was able to get the license for something Nintendo, they wouldn't give us, you know, Mario right away, but they would try it out with something like Animal Crossing, or Animal Crossing would be perfect too. The only problem that I'm seeing here, everybody, I'm checking the Wikipedia, and it says Publisher Nintendo. It's also not Game Freak or Creatures Inc. like Pokemon is. Ooh, it could be kind of tough. What I'm saying here is, is that it's literally just Nintendo. I feel like the reason that we were able to get Pokemon Pops is because it's not just Nintendo. They're only a third of the company. So maybe if Creatures Inc. and Game Freak were like, hey, we're okay with this, then it got moved along because it's more than 50%. I have no clue. But it's just a theory. Literally a game theory. I'm sorry. And so anyways, with Animal Crossing, I'm hoping that it does happen in the future. But for now, we have none of it. And well, anyways, everybody, there we go. That is all of the fun. Funko Pops that we will probably never see. And I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. And also, if you think there's any other licenses that we won't get as Pops, please put them down below. But seriously, though, this has been a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow.